Welcome to the R&B Fantasy Draft, people. It's Friday. The weekend's here. You, you need to unwind with this podcast series. So today on the Av Podcast, I'm dropping the audio version of round two of the R&B Fantasy Draft, where we make our selections and we have a, a spirited discussion on the start of the quote-unquote decline of R&B, as well as the direction of where Usher's career went and a whole lot more. I'm happy that you're listening right now, but if you want to watch the draft, round two, and also round one from last week, head over to my YouTube page, the South Sharav YouTube channel. Watch it on your phone or on your big screen. It's up right now, all right? As well, the Av and South Sharav Radio is available wherever you listen to podcasts, from Apple Podcasts and Spotify to TuneIn and Alexa to Stitcher and Google Podcasts and everywhere else. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I'm going to bless your souls in advance for providing me with that five-star love. And, and hit that one especially because it, it does nothing but have positive effects for the brand. And check out the website for the catalog. That is SouthShareAv.com. It's the Av Podcast with Cal C on South Shore Ave Radio. Round two, let's R&B. Welcome to the Av Podcast with Cal C on South Shore Ave Radio. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start off the second round right now. Um, let me open up the, the screen so you can see the list so far. So after round one, we have Prince off the board with the, the first overall pick. Uh, we got Michael Jackson. Mike Jackson is the second pick. I got The Voice, Whitney Houston. Shally has Bruno Mars, a.k.a. Bruno Bars. And uh, we got Mary J as the final pick of the first round. So you're going to start off round number two, Chris. Yes. Who you got? Hmm. <laughs> this one, this one was, was, was hard for me because I had somebody else. And then I went back. I, I went back and I thought about this person. I looked him. I looked this person up a little while ago. I won't say what he was on just yet, but I looked him up and I, I knew he was powerful. But I didn't realize how powerful until he was on this this uh this uh show. And I was like, no, I gotta go with him, man. I gotta go with him. Like he's just too much of a powerhouse. When you see what he wrote and what he produced, I mean, Jesus Christ. His his family has has like stupid money. They got generational, like his grandkids, grandkids, grandkids will be good. You know what I mean? And that's um baby face, man. I gotta oh. I gotta go with a producer. <laughs> I See, gotta go to the producer. I had somebody else. I won't say just in case somebody has him. But when I looked at his track record, not only what he produced, but I didn't even know certain songs. Like he wrote certain songs. I mean, this guy is phenomenal. Oh yeah, phenomenal man. He I was like, for a long time too. Yeah, and that was when he was on. Um, when he did verses. When he did verses, mm -hmm. it made me go and look him up. And when I looked him up, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> like he's a monster like you know he's a monster man i had to i had to go with him get my producer off the board before somebody else i know you guys know <laughs> your music so i was like i know somebody's coming for him so let me get him off the board now wow. yeah. Yeah. i got you back nice i'm happy with you good you got, you got my whitney i got i got baby face but he's 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 phenomenal man. And actually, he's he's producing new records right now. Like he has a song with Kalani. He has he has like a whole slew of new records that he's producing, and all the covers of the records have him in the background somewhere, like pouring a drink <laughs> or something. It's like he cool. he's a visionary as well as a producer and a writer, like which is cool mm -hmm. for then and now. Mm -hmm. um, he's he's yeah he's not lost his touch. So and vocally as well, he's great. Yeah, incredible. Good pick, solid pick. Yes, Chris. <laughs> He's amazing, man. He's amazing. I had to, I had to take him off the board. Like I said, I was going elsewhere first, you know. And then I thought about it. I was like, man, this guy. Like, I'd be, I'd be crazy to bypass this guy because somebody's gonna snatch him. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Not <funny>. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> because I was looking at it like I got Wendy Houston. I got the voice. Who would be mm. the perfect producer? From mm -hmm. Houston, that's yeah. why I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is easy. This is easy right here. And then a long came first. Long came first. Nice. Oh my gosh, you! Ah, damn it, damn it! It's, but hard, you know what? it's hard to choose. It's so hard to choose. Yeah. 
Just wait till the later rounds. It's gonna be real hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good. That's what I said. It's gonna be. It's gonna be very interesting. Okay, dig but, deep. <laughs> but this, this the thing is, I'm sure they're all talented people. That's what makes something like this so much fun. We're not yeah. picking bums. You yeah, know? no, they're not. Like they're all talented people, man. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And it's funny because he spans what five decades, basically, right from the '80s to yeah, to now. now. He, he yeah. has a song with LMA. Just uh, if um, I don't yes. even a video. Yes, for it, he right? does. Yeah. yeah, and you're like, this guy's still. Serious. I'm like, man, this is this is awesome. No, no, no. I, I didn't I didn't know that he produced um, Ariana Grande's one of her albums. Yeah, no well, clue. Really? I had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. And I mean, and then you got to get into the whole the face records. Yeah. You know, oh, that's, yeah, that catalog crazy. That TLC catalog, and all these people. Tony Braxton and yeah, yeah oh, it's just it's, just, it's monstrous. Yeah, like the other day. I mean, it's a simple song, but it's always done something for me. It's just, there's something about that song where bringing it in the mix, especially back in the day, it's always done something for me. And it's, um, uh, maybe I shouldn't say this song because somebody might have the artist. No? <laughs> Never mind. Stop, stop right back. there. <laughs> Don't do wow. it. Stop right there. <laughs> you, know, you know what, though? When he, um, I, I, I gave him his ultimate respect when he, um, when he did the song with the, the Change the World with Eric Clapton. Like when I, I saw like song. the songwriting yeah. for that, I'm like, I like I was like, yo, this is a nice song. And then when I heard it was those baby face that you know, like with, like like he produced the whole thing or whatever. I'm just like, oh wow, oh. Like, yeah, I didn't yeah. I didn't know he was. You know, well, listen to this. Eyes. Um, end of the road from Boys to Men and Mama. Yeah, I mean, think about this, just this alone, mm-hmm. and then my 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 by Johnny Gill. Gil. Yep, like what? Stop yeah, naming dude. people, man! Right? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm talking. Yeah. Cal, can can you mute Chris right about now? Done. <laughs> Done. This guys out here, I'm dropping jewels everywhere. Let's go. My bad. But listen, I'm, I'm doing myself a disservice because everybody I drop, most likely I'm in the back of the line to get them. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> See, she's just dirty in the pool for everybody else. That's basically what's just happening here. No, I'm helping everybody else. <laughs> I'm messing myself up. Oh yeah, no, I, I'm trying to go somewhere. So like, you know, <laughs> all right, we, we can get there. There's lots to choose from, guys. Come on. <laughs> very, very true, but we're being selfish. We want them all. We want very them selfish. All. Mm. We want trying to win, all. man. <laughs> so Sally, you got the next pick of the second round. Uh, who do you have? Who do you um. Have? <laughs> Since we're talking about producers, I'm not really worried about people taking this person because I have a feeling people don't know who this person is. But I'm taking D Mile, or I don't know if to call him D Millie. He's D Ernest M M Mile the second. He produces for her, Justin Bieber, Lucky Day, um, Mally Music, Chris Brown, Alicia Keys, uh, Silk mm-hmm. Sonic, um, and he's only 35. Wow. Um, yeah, so he's actually, oh, he also produced um, the Carter's Project with Beyonce and Jay-Z. So he has like a huge range of production that span from classic, um, almost old school sounding R&B to like super modern, like hip hop stuff. And um, yeah, he's the, my producer pick. It's D apostrophe M-I-L-E. And uh, for those of you who are listening, Google him. And you'll understand why he is a very, very solid pick uh, for me. I know Since... that. Yeah, I know that producer, as you said that yes. now. Yes. Serious. Serious. And uh, yeah, he's <laughs> worked pro- with a lot of the greats as well. These producers are going early off the board, man. I'm getting a little nervous, especially <laughs> Keo, because I have a feeling you're going to pick this person that I'm thinking of. That's a good pick, though. I had, to, oh, do yeah, some, I had to do some research. about. No, the- but still, nevertheless, that's a good pick, man. Yeah, because we have, you know what it is, is like, I think in, in the 90s and even in the early 2000s, there are certain producers that were just, they were artists as well. So everybody kind of knew them. Mm-hmm. But there is a lot of other producers. And especially now, there's so many like key producers that people don't even realize are even producing for some of our favorite, like older artists or have been that, you know, you don't hear their names. So it's like mm-hmm. you got to like research like songs and uh, projects that you like to find out like who's producing right mm. so that's what i had to do and this guy is blah, blah, blah. versatile very nice good yeah no, the, the 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 work with bruno mars is, is definitely is definitely on top and then you know like again with silk sonic like yeah 
Yeah, that's on that's on fire. No, I I agree. I, you know what's funny? Because recently, because I'm a little bit of a nerd. I'm 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 a, I'm a nerd when it comes to songwriting and who produced what and 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 where where did which studio did they record in? You know, I'm I'm a nerd for that. So when they had, you know, when they had the CDs back in the day, I can tell you, oh, they recorded this on Electric Lady. You know, they recorded right. it. So I'm I'm yes. not I'm not nerd when it comes to that stuff. So. Like I, you know, I'm glad uh, Spotify. They you're able to go and see the show credits. So like, so I've seen that name. I've seen that name, but I didn't yes. put it together to see all the work they've done. But no, it's a good pick. Mm. It's a solid pick. After we're done, I swear, I just want to like go through some of the picks that we didn't choose. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. I have some, oh. I have some picks. I I think that some of you definitely will choose for producers. Um, but if you don't, I want to. Yeah, go. okay. Like, it will be fun. Honorary yeah, Mason. because there's so oh, many no, we, great we, talented we, people. We're gonna like, do that. So I don't know if you can yeah. see the chart, but we're gonna have a backup here. Uh, okay, so, okay. so that's gonna be your your top honorable mention pick, or or if if you know your group be fighting, if they be fighting, <laughs> somebody says I'm out of here. Yeah, you know I don't want to I don't want to work with Keo anymore. And I'm gone. <laughs> yes. Who, who's that person you're gonna select and put in the person's place? Okay, perfect, so, perfect. Right, uh, <laughs> I, I'm leaving that one for that. Um, seeing we're going this producer route, I didn't think the producer was going to be going this early. So now I'm a little nervous now because, again, I got the voice. So I got to have mm-hmm. somebody that caters to the voice. So, you know, the, again, I want to be living in these castles. I got these jets. I got my yacht, <laughs> my yacht with my yachting channel on Sirius XM. So I, I you know, I, I got to preserve that at all costs. You know, mm-hmm. so so who's who's the artist? Who's the producer? Who's the person that could that could that could cultivate this? Plus, make sure everybody else I pick going forward. Is gonna be, you know, blessed with with classic, legendary tracks and hits. Um, mm-hmm. So there's a there's a list to go from. I'm so tempted to pick another singer. I'm very tempted, but I got Keo behind me, and <laughs> I just I have a feeling I know where he's gonna go. And I and 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 if he doesn't go the first round, he's gonna uh, sorry the second round. He might pick him the third round, and he might be gone by the time I cater to that voice. Right. Mm-hmm. So I think about this person there. They've been in the game at least four decades. They go on the the, the hip hop and R and B spectrum on on a, both at an elite level. They're in the Songwriter Hall of Fame. He was very mad when he couldn't get his verses battle going on mm. with Puffy. You know, I'm dropping hints here. <laughs> so I, I got to do it because I know I know this 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 producer here is going to cater to the voice and cater to everybody else. So this is this is where I'm like, I have my list. But depending on where you guys go is where I'm going to go. I'm like Bruce Lee right now. I'm flowing. I'm, be water. Mm-hmm. Be water, as they say. Right. So I got to go with Jermaine Dupri. <laughs> oh, yes. OK. Right. True. He's worked with Mariah. He's worked with a lot yep. of people. Yep. That's he's smart. easy. And, and I mean, he just recently, you know, put out hits with uh, with Ari Lennox. Right. Mm-hmm. And division. He's worked with division. Yep. As well. Oh, sorry. For, so I'm calling names. Oh, mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good. But who hasn't he worked with? That's that's the question, too. Right. Yeah. Who hasn't he worked yeah. with? Mm-hmm. But I, but I'm good very man. I was very tempted to, to pick another artist. But I'm like, you know what? I like I know that this producer could. If I decide to go with another artist that that floats mm-hmm. on both the hip hop and R and B style, I know he's got it. Yeah, and if I need those, box, yeah. and if I need those mm-hmm. ballads, if I need those those ones, that's gonna that's gonna get me my castle in England and France and and mm-hmm. you know in Spain. <laughs> like he's he's gonna cater to that too. So yeah, that's a great pick. Mm. Yeah, so I got to yeah. go with Dupree on that one. All right. Wait, wait. Didn't, he, didn't he start off um, dancing for Houdini? He did. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah, he's a little baby back then. He <laughs> I, is, saw, I saw that footage. <laughs> the history with these guys, man. These guys paid their dues. Sometimes we forget. Mm-hmm. Backup dancer with, with Houdini. I mean, wow. What's, a, what's amazing with him, too, is, is he... Um, I heard a story about how we, how we got on with... Um, but crisscross, he basically found them in a mall. Yeah, he was yeah. shopping and, and saw right. and saw a bunch of people following them in a mall, and like, who are these people? <laughs> he thought they were stars already. Like they're just they're just regular kids, and he's like, no, I'm going to do something with these guys, and that was it. Yeah. That was it. That was it from there. I mean, he's worked with so many people. I don't mm-hmm. want to mention the names because I don't, <laughs> don't want to put idea in, 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 in Kevin and Keo's head, so I'm just not going to say anything. But. Yeah, I gotta go with Jermaine Dupri on this. I, I thought that mm-hmm. I thought of maybe produce. I was looking at the third round, but Chris, man, yeah, Chris, Chris with that baby face. I was taking baby face. 
I was taking. Yeah, you was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just you just got right. told, man. You just got told. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. I got I got one in Houston for you, so don't worry. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not yeah. Even, I that's a big one. That's a big I'm, one. I'm not even. I'm that one. <laughs> All right, so Keo, who do you got as your? Uh, as your I was gonna do the watch this dance, but we're just gonna go with Usher right now, right? We're picking oh. Usher. He's gonna be the backup to <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> we're gonna go together, Usher. He's gonna kill it right now. Oh one. my gosh! <laughs> I have to. You already know Usher's track record for all the songs. Whoever Bird, you you go down the list, right? He's yeah. Done it all. And he's a baby Michael Jackson. Vocal range is good. Mm-hmm. He'll fit together sonically. It'll sound good. And his own main stage by himself. So that's my pick. I'm going with Usher right now. That's right. my pick. Can you imagine? So can you imagine the competition between the two of them dancing? There's some footage online of actually uh, Usher. Not happening, Usher, right? Yeah, of Usher getting up on stage and dancing. And then uh, what's that so comedian bad. again? Can't remember his name. Chris Tucker. Yeah, coming on stage and then yeah. and then like Michael Jackson falling down <laughs> laughing and Usher is yeah. like on stage too. That was so good yeah. though. But you know what? Usher's humble to Michael because mm-hmm. he looked up to Michael yeah. like so he would I think he would learn. Yeah. It's from him as I'm well. trying to build a team right now. Like, that's a good one. I got a plan. Dancing <laughs> super group. Okay. I got a plan. Don't worry. I got a plan. That Justin Bieber move was smart though, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, he is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where's yeah. money? Where- very Stop. smart. I, I gotta tell you though, Keo, mm-hmm. Usher, mm-hmm. Chanda broke my heart though. Mm-hmm. I understand on a business side, I understand why he went that route. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but I missed. I was a huge Usher fan until he kind of went. You, know, you dance know, kinda music. dance music. He lost. Yeah, me. He lost me. Like I was like, come on, man. Like that was my guy. And, yeah, yeah. Um, you know. Uh, I, I think no, that he, he's on. part of the downfall for R and B for that that time, like early two. You know, it's funny. Apparently, he said that someone else was a downfall for R and B. Who I'm not going to mention their name because <laughs> he could be in this category too. You know what? Yeah. Like, I, I as an artist, I fit into the category of what I call R and B pop, and it's mm-hmm. been happening for years. Technically, Michael Jackson is in that category. You know, yeah, what I mean? he's definitely pop. You know, yeah. So <laughs> it's just whatever's at the time. Whenever someone pushes it so far to the edge. They get yeah. celebrated, but they also get criticism, and it kind of is. It can be uncomfortable, you know what I mean? But there's, an, yeah, there's someone else. That Usher said was pretty much <laughs> what you're saying. He is, but I'm not gonna say his name because he could fit here too. And I'm not but, camera. But Shelly, Shelly, I I agree with you. But here's where I, the side that I come from. When you started off in the in the urban like us, like you started off like you know, for the brothers and sisters. To me, mm-hmm. I don't mind when you go dance, but you gotta split it. You know, yeah. I, I, I felt you keep your yeah, yeah. he lost it for me. Like he wasn't giving me enough, enough. Well, back the in the days, we used to he, call, yeah, we used to call one o'clock joints at yeah. the club. At the club <laughs> after one o'clock, we hitting you in the head with some yeah. thumpers. He, <laughs> he lost that for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can only play like that, like house music and dance music for so long, especially, especially in certain crowds. So for me. Saying. Yeah, for me, he lost. Like, coming from a DJ background and somebody who, mm-hmm. you know, my favorite music is is ballads. Like I, 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 Kevin, I think I told you this before. If I had to sell all my records, mm-hmm. I would sell everything before I sell my slow collection. Yeah, mm-hmm. like my slows to me from like the seventies on up is is epic to me. So yeah, yeah. a guy like that to me, like when you're not making tracks like that and club joints like one one in the morning joints anymore. You lose some points for me, man. And and again, that was my guy. It hurt me to see when he went in that direction. Yeah. I got Hold it. Hold on, though. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try to, uh, <laughs> you know, contradict your. Come I, good. I see where you're coming from. Come good. But you gotta, you gotta keep in mind, the decision he made made sense at the time because he had to stay relevant to what was trending. Mm-hmm. And that dance, David Guetta, a Gucci yeah. kind of EDM sound was. No, but you missed my point, though, Kevin. Stuff was going no, but I mean? Kevin, you missed my point. What I'm saying is, I don't mind you going that route. I get it. As a business person, as a businessman or woman, I get it. But you gotta, you gotta be versatile. I, to me, he he stopped showing his versatility because to me, he went one route. Like he went for the money, but forgetting this part of what what made him. That's how I felt. I felt like what made him got put to the backdrop, and everything that he was pumping up was just dance, 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 dance. I was like. 
I was waiting, like, come on, Usher, like, give me, give me a couple of yeah, tracks. But you, that, you gotta, you, know? you gotta keep in mind too what what the the the, the swing uh, that radio took was going in it was that drastic. Twenty yeah. ten. Mm-hmm. I mean, Charlie may Charlie may attest to this <laughs> that if you're putting out, if you want to stay true and you know to your art form, you may not get played for the next couple of years because that's not what's trending. So mm-hmm. if you can if you can ride that wave. And then come back and bring it back to where, where your roots were. That makes sense. I feel like it, he. I don't think he, he kept going forever with the dance. Yeah, I don't think sure. he, went, he didn't stick with the dance. He like, just he did like a theme for for for, for a period because yeah. it was popping at that time. He, like yeah, he, I mean, all those DJs were producers. Yeah, he, and they he, were he, putting out he some big records it. for the dance music. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, it was. Really big. Big. He went. He went too long, man. I'm petty. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that song that song so many ways to love you you think that's dance is that part of what you're talking about so many, so ways, many to ways to love you maybe not a piggy you know that song you think that's dance oh 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 yeah oh, that's oh, a kind of oh, edm oh. issue yeah. i don't, oh, I don't oh my god that's the i oh my listen god. Yeah. i can i don't consider i feel like he did that in his own way though i still feel like it was funky and well, no, no 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 you know what you, i mean you, you mm. have a yeah. point in terms of because you could take you could yeah. take a slow jam and throw a like you take a, a, a 60 BPM and throw a 120 B. Yeah, that was that. And then boom, bam, you got a track. So mm-hmm. I think that he yes, he did it his way, but in terms of the production, EDM was what was really trending at the time and it took over the it's radio. A big deal. So it's it made sense to go with that, stay relevant, and then just come back to your roots when when the time was right. Yeah, that's just how I see it. That's just how I see it. So. Yeah, and I and listen. And again, like I said, on the business side, I get it. Mm-hmm. On the on the music lover side, and as a DJ, I felt like I felt abandoned. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, like, come on, man, like, just give me some, give me some club bangers. So you know what okay. I'm saying? Like for us, don't forget about us. Yeah. You know, like we want some bangers too. Mm-hmm. You know, like a lot of his tracks, I couldn't play at my parties. If I played the parties I was being hired to play for, if I played some of his tracks, I would get a bottle in my head. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. I like like what, if I did like certain events, you know, yeah. But for like our events, mm-hmm. I couldn't play all that stuff, man. It's a so, hard thing. By the time he reeled it back, maybe like fans like yourself were like, "I'm afraid you all been didn't want to play." Yeah. yeah, you're not interested anymore. Well, that's a good so, point because by the time he came back, he wasn't. I wasn't checking for him to sing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand what I mean? I mean, I'll always be an Usher fan, you know, or supporter, but it wasn't the same by the time he came back. It was like, mm-hmm. yeah, that's all right. All right. You know what I mean? Whereas before, okay. it was like, well, that's an Usher, Usher joint. You you can't wait to play it or at least listen to it. Yeah. Now, now when you get an Usher joint, it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it later. <laughs> it's, it's funny because when I think of like Usher right now, I think of like that was when he, he, because he's around our age, like especially Kyo, right? Like, like that yeah. was like end of high school college for me when when he was wow. like hitting yeah. his stride and hitting his prime right so mm-hmm. the my way album 8701 mm-hmm. yeah so uh, Jay Dupree. yeah uh, that that yeah, yeah, seven year run yeah, yeah with jd yeah like i mean confessions was diamond right mm. yeah it was diamond it was diamond this like, was a problem man that album was classic so good. just <laughs> just, classic. Good. just ridiculous and then on top <laughs> of that it's like it's at that and that album is one of the great albums of this century for sure yeah you know what i mean you can't Absolutely. you can't deny the impact of that and then too, you got to think like, you know, like anybody that's questioning like his his skill set now. I think he's showing you with the with the with the Vegas the Vegas uh, shows. Yeah, because right he's got his show. Yeah, he's he is like super sharp. That the the NPR the NPR mm. the tiny desk that performance is like that was awesome. like the most viral thing of the summer. Mm. Yeah, his, that's what that's why I'm sitting there like this. They're like. <laughs> that's just, that's, <laughs> Anybody who's seen that, like, yo, like, just a master class, right? A 25 minute master class. Like, okay, yeah. guys, like, this is what you got to come up to. Like, hurry up. Mm-hmm. I'm still here. You know, yeah. so, and, and for people like, intact, yeah, still voice still, can still dance, can still, mm-hmm. still, you know, like a master mm-hmm. showman. And then with him, he's still at the age too, where it's like, just one hit album away, one song away from game. Yeah, but he, he can go different genres, he can do different things. He's right. Like it's nothing no, limiting here. Definitely a talent. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, definitely. And, and there was a time where the industry started to kind of push that somebody else was, was you know, the R&B. Next Usher. Kiss, kiss, kiss me off. 
Mm-hmm. I used to the, piss the, me the, off because I was like, we, yeah, the say. king of R and B, and I used to, I used to piss me off at one point because I was like, it's almost like they in there was a period where it's like they they were it, they were trying to make you forget about Usher. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But those of us who know know like nah man like you know there's rhythm and there's rhythm. You know what I'm saying? There's there's levels to this. And, so it, was, and it was probably around that time when he was <laughs> signing like the the Justin Bieber and all that stuff. Yeah, and, mm-hmm. and yeah, you know. Becoming a part owner of the Cavaliers and stuff like those are the things that I'm sure at that point that's where you know you start hearing those little stories here and there. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, this guy's better. Or this guy's better. And you know, because the, the industry is interesting. They'll put things like that out there, but if you sit down and pay attention, you you catch him in the act right away. Yeah. You know, I used to always say the the, the artist that they used to put out there as a king of R and B and stuff. I used to tell people sit back and watch him. He's counting his steps. Uh, right when he's doing live shows, he, you can see him counting. But wow. when you watch Usher, it's all it's, it's all rhythm. He's just he's just yeah, going natural. with it. Just feel it's it. Fluent. He's just going with it. There's, yeah. there's levels, yeah. so it's like. But the thing is, the masses don't catch that, so they go with what they're told. So there was a couple of years when this person, I can't, I'm not going to say the name, but was being heralded. A certain man used to piss me off badly. <laughs> so I'm know, sitting there, Chris. You need a moment or what? I need a moment. I'm going to have to put down the water and go get a beer. <laughs> now we know Chris is hot. I have a hot head. You know? <laughs> when you're ready, when you're ready. Don't mess with Chris, guys. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I hold grudges too, man. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> it hasn't come out yet. In the later rounds, we'll hear about it. <laughs> All right. So, wrapping up the second round, we got Welcome Productions here. Kevin, so, you know, we, we, you know, we got some good good names that's uh, been selected so far. Yes. You know, yes. Um, you don't have to be pressured to take a producer, but you got the next two picks anyway. So, you know, you can start off the third round with one. I'm not telling you what to do. You can do whatever you want. But no, you I'm, you cannot tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I bought your CD. I bought yeah, the CD. Yeah, there you go. You so bought like, the CD. I yes, definitely can't support tell you, man. You support it. I definitely can't tell you nothing. But no, um, but who do you who who's your 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 pick for the second round? My next pick, and I was wondering when the producer thing was gonna pop up. And seeing that Chris brought it and, and started it off on such a high note, mm-hmm. um, I think it only fitting that I choose my next choice because of how diverse the production has been by these two gentlemen. One, they also are amazing songwriters. They are musicians. They have launched many bands' careers. They've launched artist careers. Jam and Lewis. Yeah. Right. Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Yep. Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis. And they will work well with Prince if they can get past their beef. <laughs> <laughs> but in a sense, in a sense, Prince launched their career because he fired them. <laughs> That's a good point. Right? That's, so, That's a good point. And look at where they fell. What, what a great place to fall. You know what I mean? Right? How can you, I mean, you, you fall from, from the, the, under the, the wings of Prince and then you, like, you, 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 you spread Jackson. your own, <laughs> you spread your own wings and look at the amount of groups that they have made, mm-hmm. made absolutely famous yeah. in their sound. You know what I mean? And they can do ballads. They can, they can write the ballads. They can do, you know, like danceyish, danceyish kind of house music as well. So, I mean, yeah. and, and club bangers, should we talk yeah. about the albums that they've, you know, yeah. Completed from top it. to bottom. So, yeah, Jam and Lewis, most definitely. That's yeah. actually one of my favorite production duos for sure. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. they, their sound is like they do something where it's modern and it's classic at the same time. Yeah. And it's like very, uh, even their, like, even the tougher songs, there's just, I don't know, there's like, they have these relaxing chords, like these signature yeah, Jimmy Jam real. and Terry Lewis chords. Mm-hmm. There's, well, it's awesome. I mean, yeah. you can, you can, Love you can count the Minneapolis sound for that. I mean, Prince is yeah. the one who, Exposed them to all of that, yeah. but I find yeah. Chris, you being a DJ and, and Keo being a DJ as well, you find like like Jam and Lewis always have these little two bar things that they throw in there. You know what I mean? You might have mm-hmm. like a, a four bar, and then they have another two, and then they go back to another four. Yeah, that yeah. The, things the off timing sometimes. is kind of weird when it, you're mixing. Yeah. you gotta be aware of that. Otherwise, yeah, you're yeah, gonna yeah. early. Yeah, you gotta stay alert. With song, you gotta yeah. definitely stay alert with these guys. 
and they uh, and they do like the the, the choppy kind of edit stuff like how New Jack used mm. to do it. Mm. Still, they were like really part of that. So, yeah, that, powerhouses, that's man. Oh yeah, definitely powerhouses. Yeah, I can't, I can't, yeah. argue, I can't argue with that. That was, uh, mm. that was. I mean, I guess there's a there's a great list of producers here that I know yeah. they're definitely like Shally was mentioning before the honorable mention conversations. You know, right. there's definitely going to be a few that I'm going to, you know, after we, we make all our picks, I'm definitely going to be talking about, uh-huh. you know, but I, I figured it wasn't going to be these guys because I figured somebody was going to pick them. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. One, of you sure. guys gonna, one of you guys and lady was going to pick them for <laughs> had sure. To, had to, had to, had to, had to. Yeah, no, for okay. sure. No, nah, they're, they're, they're incredible. They're incredible. So, Rob, wow, that's the end of round two. Um, Looking at, uh, <laughs> I want to I take a look at this list one more time really quickly. Huh. Interesting. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm biased, but I think Chris did well. <laughs> Chris did I. Chris did I. So so yeah, so, for, so for round two, we got we got Babyface D Mile as a producer, Jermaine Dupree as my as my producer. Um, if 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 Keo's lucky, he he's have to pay a fee to get Jermaine Dupree to, to work with Michael Jackson <laughs> Usher, but. You know, I, I figure Kill would be fine as right. a producer for the second. I'm, I'm okay. I, I got I got my pick blocked. Don't worry. I'm okay. He's fine. He's fine. And, They're gonna um, do well in the studio. They'll be oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 Prince and Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Once they can they can have the meeting of the minds and have they'll that be right. and broker their beef. They're they'll gonna be, be all right. They're gonna. And, and even if they don't, they're gonna figure business is business and just, business is business. Exactly. And they're just they're just gonna just clean yeah. Up. They can look past the beef. Trust me. We know that. But. <laughs> But looking at everybody, everybody's list so far, including mine, huh, it's interesting. Two rounds has gone by so far, and there's an elephant in the room. Mm-hmm. There's an elephant in the room. I won't mention it, but it's an <laughs> elephant in the room. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll see where this we'll goes. find out soon right. enough, I guess. We'll, we'll see where this goes. Thank you for tuning in to round two of the R&B Fantasy Draft on the Av Podcast. Thank you to my guests and participants, Shally, DJ Chris Nice, DJ Keo, and Waka Productions. I appreciate them for doing this draft and making it as fun as possible. Now, round three of this series will be dropping next Friday, October 21st, on all platforms, including the South Sharaf YouTube channel. And also for you NBA fans, the annual NBA previews that I do each year is, is out right now. All right, the breakdown of the Eastern Conference was officially out as of yesterday. All right, so make sure you check that out as you break down the lottery teams and the contenders of the conference. The Western Conference portion will be out on Monday as well, the day before the start of the season. So get your NBA fix with us. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Greatly appreciate your time, your love, and your support. I appreciate y'all. All right, this has been round two of the RB Fantasy Draft. My name is Cal C. And you just tuned into a special series of the Av Podcast right here on South Shore Ave Radio. Until next week, we out of here. Have a great weekend. Peace. <laughs>